Just, just, just like you see me doing. Just paint it with oil. Guys, Chris has left us in his garage and he's given me the freedom just to roam and make whatever I want to. The first thing that I have to do is this mold right here. You're not gonna believe what it's made out of. This mold is actually made out of bulletproof glass. See you, See you later. See you later, man. But yeah, guys, this <laughs> was Jack back leaving. This mold is straight bulletproof glass, guys, and it's clear. So that's the really big thing. It's clear, so you're gonna be able to see these baits actually be injected into the mold. All right, guys, now what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to pick a color. He has so many different colors, guys, so much. I'm gonna try to pick something I haven't done on my channel yet. What is this? Cotton candy. Look at that, how about that? Yeah, we're definitely doing cotton candy. We found our color. I think we gotta do the cotton candy. I wonder if this is like a pink or what is this? We're gonna go ahead and get our plastisol in our measuring cup, put it in the microwave, heat it up, and find some flake. Um, I'm not sure what colors will be good. Yeah, guys, I have no clue what color is gonna be good for our flake, but um, we're gonna wait to put the flake in until we see what color we make. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and stir this up. Chris has trusted us with his whole bait making setup right here. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cup of plastisol and we're gonna put it in the microwave. Chris normally did about two minutes for his, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, I normally pull mine out at about a minute and 30 seconds, so we're gonna go ahead and put two minutes on the timer and start that up. So what we're gonna do now, shoot, I just touched that. Look how smart I am. We're gonna add our drops of cotton candy and see what color we get. Got some lure craft pink flake and some black flake. Is juicy, that's definitely the juice right there. Y'all ready? Three, two, one. Oh, that's awesome, guys. Check that out. And that's that. Guys, that's crazy. That looks so cool. The most crazy, like, how are you? It doesn't get much better than that, guys. This, this bait making, like, genius right there. All right, guys, so normally the fun part of this whole process is opening the mold, but I mean, we already know what the baits look like on the inside, so. Look at that. Are they too, are they still hot? That's not good. Uh-oh, I just messed that all up. That's the one thing about having to put the oil in this mold that Chris told me about. It's probably not gonna open up pretty for you, but guys, these are the stick baits that we made. They definitely look cool. They're cotton candy. Can you see that in the light right there? They look really good crazy these look really good but guys i'm not going to shoot this mold again just because these um glass molds like this don't last that long just the heat of the plastic it'll cause flashing early in the molds and stuff like that so for the soft plastic portion soft plastic building portion part of this video that was a tongue twister Woo. all right guys so we're about to get ready to go on a separate mission and go fish these lures so talk to y'all on the water Yo, what's up guys? Okay, so right now we are in Alabama. We just left from Tallahassee. This is a little transition period. This is like the same day I was editing the video. And of course I didn't do like a little intro. So I ended up going to, I didn't fish these in Tallahassee. I went and fished them in South Carolina. I'm gonna go finish this video. Then I got another soft plastic video I've been working on. So feels good to be back. I'm gonna try, I still, I still have a lot of videos to post, or I'm not gonna say a lot, but I still have a couple of videos I haven't posted from a couple of the trips, like when I went with Edwin and also when I went to Tallahassee. I have a couple of videos from that, but I'm gonna try to kind of mix it up so it's not just me on the road. I kind of like the home videos, you know? I like being on the road, don't get me wrong. I like going places and seeing, meeting new people, doing different things, but I kind of like the home stuff too. So I'm gonna try to kind of mix it in a little bit so it's just not me never at home and hanging out with other people, so. I'm not sure where I'm, when and where I'm gonna mix them in, but I try to mix them in a little bit for y'all. But here we go, here's the fishing portion of this video. Hey guys, we got these lures out of the clear mold and we are here to catch some big mouths on them. So here we go. Oh yeah, that has to catch a fish. It just looks too good. 
looks beautiful. That's where I caught two from. There's another one. There's one on the bubble gun or the clear fishing mold. How about that? What a big, big mouth we have there. I can't show these people where I'm catching my fish at. We can't show everybody where we're catching these fish at. Ah! Spicy, dude. Spicy. You just tried to bite me. How about that? Oh, God. Oh, my God. How about Ooh. that? It's bigger. I got a bigger big mouth bass, Nick. My, that's my word. We <laughs> <laughs> got double up, son. Yep. Mike, take a Fuck picture it. of us. I Mine's so small. Paper, All right. See you later, OG Triple OG. They might have killed these guys. Did you get many bites, Larry? I've got three. three? Caught three. Nice. Any decent ones? These ones may be bad. homemade baits? As we have made it to the next spot, that looks really juicy. It looks like amazing. This might not be the best idea, this stick bait. These guys don't that No. There's one. Oh, there was one. How about that? Or that might have just been the moss. There's one. Look at that big mouth right there. Fish number two. Oh, a salad fish because he looks like a salad, so. It'd be nice if we could get this hook out of him. It's common courtesy, you know, I like to unhook the fish after I catch them. There we go. Fish number two. Yeah, big mouth number two of our clear mold challenge. So, see you later, dude. Have a good day. I love watching these fish go back into the water. They're so like, so hyperactive. I made these stick baits out of like a very soft plastic and I've lost two already. So we're gonna switch over to a frog and see if we can't hook into a big mouth. Do some fishing over here. I'm trying to upload my dang video. Oh, look at that. that was... go, <laughs> We're just gonna water ski him on in. That's a frog fish. Look at, okay, I guess we'll let him fight a little bit. Is that first cast? Second, third, third cast. <laughs> you guys, this just looked too juicy. I had to switch over from that stick bait. We caught one on it already. Look at that, fish number one on the frog. First, South Carolina frog fish. Like... That made zero sense. I appreciate you for agreeing with that. What I just said made zero sense, and I appreciate you for agreeing with it. Well, guys, thank y'all so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. I caught two, I want to say I caught one more fish, but it was so dark I didn't even put it in the video because it was like a black screen. You can kind of see a little reflection of it. And I figured you might not want to see that. So, oh, also, there was a humongous alligator. Like, you know, where we're from in Alabama, you probably heard me say this before in the videos, but where I'm from Alabama, we don't have gators. So if I were at a pond and saw a gator, like, it would be mind-blowing for me. But we, um, this is probably the biggest alligator I've seen in person. Like the head, you know how you can look at alligator's head and just kind of tell it's a big one? Like the head was just, it had a big head on it. So I knew that was a big gator and it was kind of creepy. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. Don't forget to fish them hard and have a good day. Guys, if I ever see an alligator, like in Alabama, I will never... Well, I'm not going to say, I'm, actually, I'm not going to say that. Actually, what I really want to do, I want to go alligator hunt. So if anybody knows anybody that does any alligator hunting, link them down below, tag me in it, because I really want to go on an alligator hunt. I feel like it would be, it will be a cool experience. It'd be something. It's one of those things you just have to try to know if you like it or not, you know? So let me know about that. Thank y'all so much for watching Fishing Hard.